My name is Mike Sevigny from Taurus Media Labs, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Canvas STK to quickly and accurately add a logo to your 3D 360 footage. So in my project, I have this footage of a car show, as well as the McLaren logo. So let's start by launching the interface. I'm going to click on Window and select Canvas STK at the bottom. And then I can just click and drag on the Canvas STK tag at the top of the window into my interface to dock it into my workspace. Now let's create a project. You can either click on this plus sign or click on this drop down here and then click on new project. So this is the window that will pop up and under my left eye media here I'm going to select my car show footage and then under the right eye media I'm going to identify that footage as being top bottom. It is equi rectangular and 25 seconds at 2997. So I'll click create so right away, Canvas SDK has set up the interface so that we have our working composition on the left and our preview composition on the right. And so anything we change in our working composition will be updated in our preview composition. And so if I click and drag using the unified camera tool, it'll orient my camera in both my working comp and my preview comp. Okay, so we want to add a logo on top of this car. So I'm going to go back to my project panel and I'm just going to click and drag my logo into my working composition. I'm also going to make it 3D. And so by making it 3D, After Effects has placed it at the center of the scene, which is behind our camera, but we want it to be above this car. So back over to the Canvas SDK interface, on the second tab under S3D Settings, you'll see that there's a section called Selected 3D Layer. This section here will modify whatever layer we have selected in our working composition and we can see here that our logo is selected. So there are six buttons here and the first one is move in front of camera and so if I click that it'll automatically position the logo directly in the center of my working composition and to have it appear in my preview here I'm gonna go back to my project tab and you'll see there's an update S3D preview section and we could just click update preview and we have to do this anytime we add a layer or delete one we can also just click on the logo Canvas STK in the interface to refresh the preview. So if we're on our second tab and we want to refresh like we just did, we could just click on the logo. So now let's position and orient our logo the way that we want to see it in our headset. And if I put on my anaglyph glasses now, I can clearly see that the text is behind the car. And so under that same section, selected 3D layer on the second tab, we also have two sliders. One is distance to camera and the other is scale. And so if I bring the distance to camera lower, it's going to bring my layer closer to my camera and then I can scale it down to adjust it. And I can see here in my preview that this is looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and output this. Back over to the project tab in Canvas STK, at the bottom of the interface, you'll see a button called update and this will update your output. And there it is, our logo positioned exactly as we positioned it in our preview. So now we can go ahead and look at this in our headset. And that's it. That's how you use Canvas SDK to quickly and accurately position your elements in your 3D 360 footage. There are a number of settings that we didn't cover in this video, and that's because they weren't needed to create this project. The default settings were fine. But as you start to add multiple elements into your scene, these additional settings will help you manage your depth budget as well as accurately position your elements. You can be sure that we'll be covering those in future videos. So you can get Canvas SDK on aescripts.com, download the trial and give it a shot for yourself. You can also follow us on social media to get the latest updates on the next cool thing. That's it. Thanks for watching.